Good morning, everybody. Good morning. My, morning. my name is Allison Murphy. And my name is Tim Katz. And uh, we came to Beacon for the first time in January. Uh, right then, the world felt like it was had been turned upside down. Um, so much of the hope that we felt for the future seemed to have vanished. And the world that we'd imagined for our boys felt suddenly in jeopardy. Like a lot of people, and perhaps like a lot of you, we felt a sudden and urgent need for something more. I knew about this place for a long time before we started coming here. What I mean is, I knew it existed. I didn't know what it was all about because how can you know a place like this without experiencing it? I think I hoped kind of secretly that I would, we would, make our way here, but I wasn't really ready to act on that hope yet. Like many folks that I've come to know here, my path to this place was anything but straight. I grew up an atheist. My parents were atheists too. My grandparents were definitely not atheists. And one time uh, they hatched this plot uh, over a winter break to uh, secretly have my sister and I baptized uh, on vacation in Florida. <laughs> My mom sniffed that out and put an end to it. But until we started coming here in January, that was the sum total of my experience with organized religion. And I grew up Catholic, going to Mass every Sunday, but I had a total loss of faith as a teenager. I learned about the church's stance on homosexuality, and I left for good. Since then, I had happily checked the nun box on the religion question, and I never really looked back. But being the community lover that I am, I always felt a pull toward fellowship. I remember saying to Tim once about 10 years ago, I don't really want religion, I just want to hear stories about being a good person and then eat cookies in a room full of nice people. And I said, I think you just described Unitarianism. And when Callum, our first son was born, we didn't baptize him. <laughs> that's him, that's Sean. When Callum was born, we didn't baptize him and we never really discussed raising him in a faith. But we talked a lot, a whole lot, about how to raise them with the values that are most important to us. Kindness, justice, humility, a respect for the environment. Um, for us, Beacon feels like the perfect complement to the conversations that we're already having at dinner with the boys every night. It's a reinforcement not just of beliefs, but of actions that matter the most to us. It challenges us every single week to not just listen, but to act, to sign up, to speak out, to do, grow, change, and step out of our comfort zones. It's just the kick in the pants that we knew we needed and that I think the world needs right now. We came that first Sunday in January in search of renewal and we stayed, well, honestly, we stayed for the snacks. <laughs> no, we stayed, we stayed even for two people who are definitely not church people uh, because this place filled a need we didn't even know we had. Uh, and we kept coming back because it has become home.